Good morning, beautiful birders. For those of us in this modern world who cherish nature, there's a lot to get down about. We see news articles and studies about declining wildlife populations, but I'm here to tell you there is reason for hope. One of these reasons is ecological restoration, which is the practice of restoring the ecological health and function of areas that have been degraded through human activities. Today, I'm gonna to be giving a tour of two trails in Campbell River that travel in and around the Campbell River estuary. Like many estuaries on Vancouver Island, the Campbell River estuary was degraded in the early 20th century due to the logging industry. Logging operations would fell trees, transport them through major rivers, and then collect them at estuaries. Logs moved to the estuaries were then taken out of the water and processed at mills there. There was a mill in Campbell River in the estuary until about the 1990s. So this mill site was located on an island known as Bikey Island. There was also a side channel of the river which was dredged to form a pond-like structure in which the logs were transported and then removed from the water. So obviously these areas were really degraded and had a lot of impact on them. Estuaries serve as important habitat for many species, one of which is salmon. Young salmon, after hatching and growing in the river, move down to the estuary where there's abundance of food and cover for them to grow before embarking on their journey out to the ocean. Degradation of these habitats caused salmon returns to decline. After the mill closed, Nature Conservancy of Canada purchased the land in 2000 and then partners started working to restore the area which took about 12 years. Bikey Island opened as a nature reserve in 2012. And since then, there has been various efforts to keep the restoration going. So I'm gonna take you on tour of Bikey Island and show how much has been done over about 20 years. And I'm gonna be birding along the way. More and more spring migrants are showing up. So hopefully we get some new birds on the year. The trail has all these channels of the river that are quite gorgeous. Things are getting pretty green. So this fence is new, and you can see that there's been willows planted along the bank. The trail starts out following the Campbell River. From this platform you can watch the swallows forage over the river. So the swallows are mostly violet green swallows, but there are a few barn swallows mixed in. The understory has really popped over the last week or so. Salmon berry still in bloom. Hear a song sparrow across the way. Pacific Trillium are in bloom, another gorgeous wildflower. Red elderberry are in bloom. Some people use them to make wine. These honeysuckle are in bloom too, which the hummingbirds love. Exciting news, the yellow warbler are back. This is the first time I've heard one all year, but there's a group singing behind me. So there's a group of about four to six yellow warbler in this line of trees, red alder. And that is the first time I've seen them all year. I've been in these areas pretty recently, so I think they are just new arrivals. So here on Vancouver Island, this is what an area is left when it's just allowed to naturalize, often just gets taken over by Himalayan blackberry, an invasive species. So behind me is the pond, which served as the log holding and retrieval area. Ecological restoration is more than just planting trees. They had to remove truckload after truckload of contaminated soil from this site in order to really get it back to this state. Now you can see the area is now surrounded by these Carex sedges, which are important for many different species. It's also a favorite spot for waterfowl. You can see large groups of bufflehead here, as well as other species. You can really tell that what used to be a highly industrial, busy site is now being used by nature. You can still see those echoes of the past, of the previous use of the area, but it is on its way. I think one thing to remember is the amazing healing power of nature. Natural processes will help 
an area return to its former state, but sometimes they need a little help to get going. So just as I started to admire the orange crowned warbler that was in this tree behind me, I heard the call of brown headed cowbird, another new bird on the year, which many people don't like because they are brood parasites of many species of songbird, including a lot of warblers. So here I am now on Baiki Island. It is very much an early successional forest, but pretty amazing progress for just 22 years. There's tons of birds here, and later in the season, I think there is a resident black bear here. So definitely loved by wildlife. So there are new plantings in the area. Work is ongoing. There's this cool wood bench. So there's a new bird on the year that is common yellowthroat, one of my favorite species of warbler. I'm not sure I'm going to be actually able to see him. It's just on the side of the estuary. Wetland area. Full of red winged blackbirds. So one challenge to both conservation and restoration on Vancouver Island are feral rabbits. There are tons of them in some locations. I'd say they're actually less abundant in Campbell River than some of the communities farther to the south, but they are still here and they really devastate native plant communities. One interesting thing about Vancouver Island is we don't have coyotes to help keep their populations in check. They still do have natural predators here, but obviously not enough. So reaching the end of the trail, you can see that it is still very much an industrial landscape, but it's a little pocket of nature in that. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I got to tip my hat to all the people who worked hard to restore this beautiful place. It took lots of effort, money, and planning to get it done, but they did. As for the morning of birding, three new species on the year, common yellowthroat, yellow warbler, and brownhead cowbird. Pretty sweet morning of birding and that brings up the total. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more nature content like this. Happy birding, everyone.